Hey guys, welcome back. Today was finally packing day, starting on day one. I started out by cleaning out some of my bins. We purchased a few, but I also had some from previous moves. I've moved way too many times in my life. So I just wanted to get those all sanitized and cleaned out, especially since I was gonna be putting clothes and some baby toys in them as well. And for this first day, I decided to tackle my laundry room mainly and also parts of my bedroom and just kind of getting the clothes in order getting the clutter out decluttering all of the boxes that are stuck in the laundry room I also washed my comforter and sheets that way I would have fresh ones when I move to the new house I always like to do that because it's the last thing you want to do once you finally get moved in it's just a little tip if you ever move it's nice to be able just to have a box that has fresh bedding in it for you and some fresh towels as well and maybe an outfit or two that way you don't have to rush and do laundry in the new house so I was just doing that and then I moved on to kind of going through some of my daughter's clothes and items that I was going to be donating as well as items that I was going to be throwing away or giving to friends as well so I just went through the entire laundry room and it was such a mess it just became like a junk drawer of an entire room and it's a shame because there was so much I always wanted to do with it, but I didn't have the time and I just had to get rid of all the cords and box up the Christmas items as well. Hey guys, so we're making good progress here. I had just cleaned out the laundry room. I'll kind of show you where I'm at with that um, and all the boxes that are out here. And I'm sorry, the laundry machine's going off because I'm washing a bunch of things to take over there. I like to have fresh sheets like thrown in a bag so that way when I get there, even if I don't have time to clean the whole house, at least I'll have some fresh sheets to lay on. But if you take a look, if you take a look, this is all stuff that I cleared out of the laundry room that is trash and then so basically anything that is left in the laundry room is just stuff that's going to be taken with me but I'll start packaging up maybe tomorrow after <clears throat> I, after I get all the trash taken out but there's not that much left it looks so bare I always wanted to do so much with the laundry room and now we're leaving but it had so much nice storage <laughs> I'll just have to do it at the next place. And then I'll show you what I did in the bedroom um, as well. But, oh, and look who's up. But I basically, as you just saw, went through. Hi, sweetheart. I'll feed you in one sec. So I basically just put everything in boxes and bags. I left the clothes on the hangers because it's already such a mess that I'm just going to buy some new hangers and take them to the new house and I'm just gonna bring them over like that in the car but I got most of the stuff packed up in the house I still need to go through a couple more drawers but I have over here on the left a pile to throw away I went through all of her clothes and well not all just um her main dresser area over here of clothes that I'm gonna throw away I already have so much that I'm giving to Goodwill so I'm just gonna throw those away some other stuff that has to go into the wash but I removed a lot of the knickknacks around the house and I pretty much have the laundry room and my bedroom done which feels really good after we throw everything away then we can kind of start lining things in the hallway to take over on Wednesday at closing so the house is just gonna have to be a mess until then yay <laughs> I Right now I think I'm going to finish that last little dresser I have and just throw away anything that I'm not going to use and um, most likely move on to the kitchen as well. But first, you got something to say? Yeah? Feed me? 
Yeah. Alright, let's get you something. Good job. Hey guys, so we're on day two of the packing spree. Right? <laughs> I got the laundry room, the hallway closet, and my bedroom closet done yesterday. So today I'm going to tackle the kitchen. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So today we're going to tackle the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room, and if I have time, my my spare bedroom closet. That might be tomorrow though. I might just make a whole day of that because it's a mess. And then I need to also do making a diaper. So right now though, I have an, a quick appointment. I have to go to, to for the doctor, so I'm just finishing getting this little thing ready. Right? Are you ready? And after I get back to that, I'm gonna be on to packing. And today we should finally get the keys. So it's just super exciting and I can't wait to get this day going. <laughs> and I just wanted to thank everybody for their kind words and support. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. And let's get moving. Good morning, you guys. We are on day three of packing, but yesterday there was a little bit of a snafu, is that a word? But we didn't end up getting the keys yesterday, but we are finally getting them today. Like, hallelujah. <laughs> but I am a packing fiend, utterly exhausted. I need to pound another coffee to keep going, but I need to tackle. I need to tackle this closet and yeah, you guys look at this closet. Like I swear, have you even hit adulthood until you have a closet filled with cords and random junk? It's just like one big drunk, one big 
junk drawer. <laughs> so I'm going to start tackling that and then hopefully we can get a lot of the bags, clothes, and boxes over today. I'm planning on having movers come on Friday tomorrow. So I'd like to get a lot of the stuff out of the house. That way I don't feel like a total crazy person all weekend because I also obviously after the movers leave will have to remove anything little that's left over. There's probably going to be 30 boxes and miscellaneous little pieces of furniture as well as you know all the clothes that you can't believe that you've accumulated and always think you have nothing to wear. And I have to get a few of Maddie's things and toys just together so I'm probably going to do all of that today and hopefully we can start bringing things over today and tomorrow because the movers aren't coming till around five o'clock on Friday. So that should help me kind of stay organized with everything. So I'm gonna start tackling this and let's do it. Hey guys, it's finally moving day. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, I'm just so excited this day is finally here. I can't believe it. We have the movers coming between three and five today. It's about 10 a.m. So we're getting all of the remainder items out of the house that we can. And by we, I mean John. And right now, apparently we're still celebrating Christmas because we have a bunch of the Christmas things still to move. And this little guy right here, he has no idea that he's about to have 400 square feet to run around in. May right, Molly? I'm about to run to the bank. I'm about to run all the errands I need to. I'm going to run to the bank and also to the store just to get some extra cleaning supplies so that when we do go to the house, <laughs> we do go to the house, I can just clean up the bathroom at least in the kitchens and my mom is going to come over and watch my daughter for a little bit so that I can actually do that so that's the plan for now but I'm just so excited but I'm just so excited that the day is finally here it's been a long time coming and I gotta get to it <laughs> hey guys so the day just totally got away from me our movers ended up coming three hours early and I didn't have time to even show any of the rest of the moving and the packing. I'm at the house now just getting everything, you know, finally, I'm in the house now just getting everything, you know, in the house. <laughs> and it was just utter chaos and my daughter, you know, just required my full attention. I ended up having to hold her for two hours while the movers came because they came early and then my mom wasn't here to watch her because she wasn't planning on coming for two hours so it was just you know utter chaos but we're finally here and I just wanted to end the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching I will have the empty house tour up probably in the next day or two and I can't wait to show it to you guys thank you all so much for your support and I'll see you in the new house bye guys